Hi, I'm Luke here today with Mrs. Reynolds, my psychology teacher. And while in class today, she recommended for me to do a false memory activity. And can you please explain it? Sure. Um, Elizabeth Loftus did a lot of research on how good our memories are and found that our memories are actually really faulty. And her work is used um, for um, criminal cases and trials and witnesses and um, she found ways to create false memories within people. So that's what we are doing today. Well, we're not putting people on trial and asking them questions. but. We will get some pretty funny answers by this list of words. So right now we're going to find people to give this list of words to. And they're going to write it down in a certain amount of time. And then we're going to see what they got right or got wrong. And more likely than not, it's going to be wrong. So don't write the words as I say. You have to keep it on memory. Bed. Rest. Awake. Tired. Dream. Wake. Snooze. Blanket, doze, slumber, snore, nap, peace, yawn, drowsy. Do 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 So do you guys have bed, rest, or awake? Yep. Yes, yes, and yes. Dr um, <coughs> drowsy, yawn, peace. Drowsy. Peace. So, so that's the first three words and the last three words. Primacy effect, you remember the first words, and recency effect, the last three words. Does anyone have sleep? What is it? Sleep. No. Sleep? No. Sleep. All three of you in sleep? You guys have sleep? Yes. Yes. Can you read off the words and tell me where sleep is? No, I just definitely, it's not on there now. Can you show me where sleep is? Can you, can anyone? Lauren, can you do me a favor? Can you find me where sleep is? Right in this list of words. There's nowhere. It's not there. Right, bro. We all went to sleep. <laughs> That's weird. Can you show me where sleep is? <laughs> so I'm sitting here with the results after uh, perusing through the hallways. Of all the 15 contestants, 10 of them right here put down a false word, sleep. And the other five were smart enough to listen and to not put down sleep. This whole experiment was to show that your memory is not as reliable as you may think. And via social media, we want everyone to stay safe. So we want the, you to know that your memory may be manipulated at times. And the best thing to do for important information is to write it down so you do not forget or misconstrue it into something else. Thank you so much for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share this to friends. And all that should be down below. Have a nice day.